Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. Thanks for checking out the channel today. If you've been following us for a little while, you know already we're a Christmas tree farm in Central Virginia and we just planted our first trees about two years ago now. And uh, so all, that means all of our trees are like three feet or less. So it's gonna be a little while still before we open up as a cut your own Christmas tree farm. But each year for Christmas, we are opening with pre-cut trees. Last year we did it for the first year. This year we're gonna do it again. And what that means now that we're at the very end of October is uh, the Christmas season starts up in just a couple weeks here right after Thanksgiving and we need to do all the work that's involved in getting ready for the Christmas season. So our most recent videos for for the most part have been about uh, firewood that we had a couple planting videos in there. We did our fall planting here last week and um, all the firewood work is on hold for a little while. That is next year's inventory sitting over there and I'll revisit that in a couple months here after we get through the Christmas season. So that means means we're now in full swing Christmas season prep. So what I wanted to share with you today is something that we've added to the farm here that will add to the experience for Christmas season. It's something that families can take photos with and they can come back year after year and they can see how their kids have grown. And you've probably seen a lot of things like this at other farms and pumpkin patches and farms that do agritourism style events and at Christmas tree farms. There's always like signs and different things that people can take pictures with and you know some of those things where like you put your face in the hole and you look like a snowman or you look like an elf or something like that. Um, I, I didn't end up building one of those yet, but I'm going to. Those are on my radar for something to add. But what I have this year is something to uh, just measure the height of kids, kids and adults. And let me show you what it looks like. It's pretty easy to build. This was my own design and I'll share with you kind of how I came up with this and the whole process to put the thing together. All right, well, here it is. I'm standing several feet in front of it, so it's not actually the same height as me. And uh, anyway, obviously it looks like a Christmas tree. It says Woods Tree Farm over there, and it's got a little scale over here for the, uh, for the measurement, and people can stand with that. You got the nice pond in the background, and uh, we think that represents our farm pretty well. So the goal with this, obviously, is just uh, something that people can snap a little photo with. Kids can line up there. When they come the next year, they can see how tall they are, how, how much they've grown year over year, and we think that'll be fun. And we're adding several little elements like this every chance we get every event that we do we try to add something and every year for Christmas we're gonna try to add something uh, this year they, we have this and then the only other like little things that we're doing and I'll talk more about this in a future video we're gonna have a big tent that's gonna be set up for our wreaths and ornaments and other small items that are for sale and then we're also gonna have s'more kits for sale and last year we just did like free hot chocolate and marshmallows we're gonna do something different this year by selling the s'more kit um, but anyway, those kinds of little things are things that we're looking to add every year. Uh, this year we're also going to have lights. We're probably going to be open into the uh, you know post-dusk hours. And last year we didn't have electric, so we couldn't do that. We were only open during daytime hours. And this year we'll have a little bit more flexibility since we have electric. But let me kind of show you this sign, how I came up with this. This all started with just kind of you know the thought that I wanted to have the uh, how tall are you sign. And the first thing I did was get on the computer and I just put together a really simple little mock-up using basic shapes to kind of lay out what I thought I wanted to do. So that's how I came up with this. So you can see there the top of the sign is seven feet. Plywood comes in eight foot pieces. So this was obviously, you know, that much taller. So that sign portion actually came from the piece of plywood up in this area. I don't know if that kind of makes sense, but up in that area, that's where it comes from. I actually didn't get any good pictures uh, or video of me laying this out, so I can't show you that. But once we laid it out, we used a jigsaw to cut it out, and then um, once it was cut out and we had the basic shape, that was all freehanded. And uh, then the sign was the most tricky part. A sign with our logo, we wanted it to look exactly like our logo everywhere else that we have it. So what we ended up doing was using a basic projector hooked up to the computer and then with our logo projected onto the piece of wood, we could then just paint in what we had traced 
uh, when we did the logo. So that was pretty straightforward. That was the hardest part. And then of course, painting that very neatly, neither me or my wife are very artistic when it comes to this kind of stuff. So painting that was a little bit tricky. It took multiple coats, but if you get in here real close, you can see lots of brush strokes on that, on the paint. But from a distance, it looks great. And actually the brush strokes on the trees ended up making the trees look like they have texture, which is perfect. So as far as that goes, we left it like that on purpose because the trees just look like they have texture and it looks all right. And then down here in the very bottom, um, this white space that's down here, we're gonna end up putting on like our social media um, logos and uh, social media names so people know that they can tag us on Facebook and Instagram when they're out here. Around the side, you can see here that the sign part is, you know, we actually glued it to the face of the tree there. And then we also did put in a couple screws just to make sure it was held in nice and tight. And there was glue applied on all of these like mating surfaces. So it shouldn't go anywhere. And then down here, this extra strip of wood came from the same sheet of plywood. We actually just sliced it off of the side of this when we cut it off. So wanted to make it look like there was a sign on a stake sticking in the ground. And I think we gave that impression pretty good. And then we offset a little bit, made it crooked to look like it was driven into the ground there. And then around back, I need to fix this up, but all I plan to do is just get the right length fasteners. I didn't have any shorter screws here. These screws would go through the plywood and I don't want to do that. But we're just going to use some metal strapping to hold this to a T-post. And then we have over here a shorter T-post. I only had one of these, but these T-posts actually have um, holes in them already. So I could just put in a couple screws directly into that post. So that actually worked out really well. So between the strapping on that one and the screws on that T-post, this thing is not going anywhere. Even on the windiest of days, I'm confident that that'll be just fine. Well, there you go. There's our sign. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to follow our journey as we build this business from the ground up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that can get you plugged into our future videos. If you have other examples of signs like this or the face and hole signs or other things like this that families can interact with when they go, go to a property or a farm like ours, uh, I would love to see other examples for things that we could consider building in the future. So either drop a link in the comments to other examples examples that you know of or send us a message on Facebook. I would, like I said, I would love to see some of those. But that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. So I We planted our Christmas trees that way. Nope. Because we are now in, uh, it's like end of November now, right? No. That's an alto, am I? Yeah. Right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Five for eleven. That's me. That's where I've been for a long time. That's